yeah, yeah, just the importance of you being here, football for schools, um, FIFA going this route in Africa. Maybe I don't know in other continents, but in Africa, schools football um, is a very big problem. You have also a product mm -hmm. um, of that. Tell us more about um, this initiative. <laughs> what more to tell you about this initiative? I think is welcoming for me. I think it's welcoming because it, it takes long to arrive in Africa. You know, should be arrived in Africa long ago. You know because. Uh, I've been, uh, recently, like I said to your colleagues in Europe, I'll be a bit jealous of uh, South American team, South American country like uh, Uruguay, Brazil, Colombia, um, uh, all of the South American continent. You know, like Chile, because most no, that's a FIFA with some association doing that. But if you imagine Barcelona have the academy, Real Madrid have the academy in Colombia. They have all the things that that means the child like we have in that now have all the resources, the equipment, the facility and the trainer to train well and to get to get the best players around the country, you know. That we don't have it. I believe we have a we have a we have a quality and I believe we have a good young players in Africa. But if they know well surround but what they, what all they need it to be one the top and develop well in the football industry, it's gonna be difficult, you know what I mean? And some of our people, I don't want to mention the name, the politician, the people on the top, they've been said, they've always been, you know, right in the paper what we should do, what is really good, but in a practical way, we never see nothing. And that's the issue with it. And I think uh, the, that initiative with FIFA now, I think is, is being, I've been waiting that for very, very long. And that's why I'm so happy to be part and join it. And uh, I think I'm looking forward for it. I think it's going to be something serious. And we, as African now, because I'm retired from football, uh, I'm okay. I'm going to be in different uh, department and football now. But I've always been dreaming to see one African continent or team win the World Cup. That's our dream. And if you have all this support and all these, uh, uh, these, uh, these equipment from things to develop our young lads to, to get better footballer tomorrow, I think soon we're going to have maybe. <laughs> A Ballon d'Or winner one day, <laughs> which leads me to the next step, and and I and I say this uh, now, um, as you move to the next uh, level of your of of your football life, mm -hmm. um, the coaching space, um, we've always complained about um, African coaches not getting a platform. In yeah, Europe. I look at yourself, I look at Benny McCarthy, mm -hmm. um, starting. Um, in, 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 in that area. Yeah. How has it been the first few weeks working as the under-16 coach at Tottenham? No, but I think he's, I think, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been complaining a lot and uh, we've been just uh, sitting behind the scenes and saying like, okay, we should, we should have been deserved better or, or else. But the thing is, I think life is not easy, you know, people, uh, they, they, it's going to them choice to decide who they want to prefer and who they want to take it. And, if you, we African, we carry on complaining, thinking like things are going to be easy and by saying things, people is going to try to support us. We are wrong, you know what I mean? And I think uh, the initiative I take now with my big brothers like Benny McCarthy, my brothers and Kolo, is, is the things we have to, is the step for what we have to take Oh, you know? We have to build ourselves and thinking like, okay, it's going to be difficult for everyone. Even from those who open too, it's difficult for them, you know? But. We have to put everything in, you know, our possibility to achieve. You know what I mean? Like, when you get the opportunity, make hundred percent sure you are the best of it, and you can compete with other best coach in Europe. You know, that's how it is. And this mean, this mean for me a lot. Doing that, I think, it's not only for me. It means for it means a lot for the continent African. You know what I mean? Like tomorrow, uh, being seen that my family, or my parents, or my closer people, or my own continent see me. And have this proudness to say, oh, we have one our child one day to play in this kind of clubs. It's nice, you know. And for the future, for the other lads coming behind us or behind me, they have a bright future for it, you know what I mean? Because they have somewhere to feel, to refer themselves and to follow the same path. And that's what it is. Show the example. We cannot say, say and lay down and always complain. That's not going to great. It's not a great idea, you know what I mean? You see um, some of the, co the teams that are successful now in Africa, like Senegal, mm -hmm. Algeria, have African coaches. Why do you think they're starting to, 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 to do well with these local coaches rather than traditionally taking these European coaches? And a follow-up of that, of the teams that's going to the World Cup from Africa, which one are you looking out for to do well? 
Well, you know, uh, I think uh, this World Cup is going to be most very special because start November, finish in December. Actually, the players, when you get to the current programs of the clubs or the early leagues around the world, is that um, is where the team start to, to start to build up and the physique and the mental. Mm -hmm. And that was gonna be they're gonna be a top level, top fit because of course gonna be demanding bordel. You look at when you look the stadium, you look the area, you look the facilities. I, I already been there. I know what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> unbelievable, you know. And all the team is gonna compete 100, percent you know, and full full commitment as well. But the thing is, yeah, like when we're talking about the coaching staff, okay, Senegal, I think they did well with uh, with uh, my big brother there, mm -hmm. and some of the coach, some of the some of the national team who have a local coach, they did well as well. I think they are. You just have to believe in them. I know. I don't think so. Yeah, we have to give them the red carpet, even the losing, because all all the competition, all the competition uh, sport or anything where there's competition on it is demanding on it. Result. If you don't have result, you have to you don't have to take it because I'm. African and working my continent, people have to have complacency, complacency for me, you know. Yeah. Everything has to be the same. Yeah. We have to work as, as, as hard as we can because you always, you always judge on the result, you know. Yeah. And Senegal are doing brilliantly well. When you see the qualification, you see the win, yeah. the team is going, going forward as well. He deserves to stay, he stay. Yeah. But if someone is better than me, if he's European or yeah. I don't know, for another country, he's better, he comes, he comes, you know. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. Maybe yeah, what what do you think it will take for Peru to succeed at Man United? Sorry? What do you think it will take for Peru to succeed at Man United? Well, I think um, this is a good step, you know, because all the time, like I said, it's always important to just uh, get uh, a job close to the top elite club with the top coach, coach, club, coach around you. Why? Because it's going to give you more experience if your, vis your vision is going to be even better. And why we have to do that maybe when the end of the day, when uh, Benny is going gonna, gonna to retire from, no, not retire, stop from United, he can bring back back to the continent and try to use that and put an advantage on our lads there just to, top, to be play at the highest level as possible. Because when you, co you cannot compare clubs and national team, because in you know, the clubs is week in, week out, it's uh, media, it's, it's tough, you know, stressful. Well, national team is weekend, sometimes it's month, two, three months, you take the team for a few days, it's different. And if we Benny come in there, because I've, I've been seeing his report, he's been working in South Africa, the work is great, he understand, he understand everything like that now, and now he go to the Premier League, where is the top league around the, in the world, and the top coach as well, who has ten cards, who have a lot of experience, he understand well the games, learn from him, close to him, like my brother did his top, you know. After that, they can bring this, he does knowledge back to the continent, and maybe one day we win the World Cup. That's what I dream, you know. But let's see. What is your um, ultimate dream in this coaching space? Well, I think me, my life, it resumes something. You know, everything I've been going around, I think for me, is no limit. We can put ourselves a limit, but if you if you decide to okay, I I, I want to contain myself with the with the club wise or with the national team or with it you can only decide by yourself for me the most important things the things who have been driving forward for if all activity or all job i've been doing or even when i was playing is have maximum fun of possible i can have it you know just be myself just enjoying discover and try to win and achieve achieve until i'll be like okay what else <laughs> maybe i want to <laughs> just <laughs> go on and do something else, but I think for, for me, football give me a lot, you know. And from where I come back, I work out from where I come from, you know, from my background as well, you know, I have so many respect, so much respect for it. And since I retired from football, you know, it's, I don't see myself other way, you know. And me, myself, has always been playing something, doing something, but have to win and then That's how I enjoy, you know. When now I'm gonna be coaching, just try to win as much as can, develop as much as can. And be at top. It's gonna. It's not gonna be easy, but I believe in myself. I trust myself. I know I'm can be crazy or some <laughs> sometimes mad, no sleep for one week and working hard every day. That's what it is. 2015 was the last time the elephants lifted uh, the Afcon. It's yeah. coming back on home soil in yeah. 2024. Um, I, I was in Cameroon earlier this year, and I felt you were unfortunate to lose to Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, surely something must give it up. Well, I think the team who, 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 who uh, the team who uh, 
who play the who play the F chord home always have the <laughs> big big pressure. That's what I that's what I have from experience. You know, the team who hold that all the competition have the always the difficulty to win the trophies because, or oh, naturally, when you see, for example, when you go to Europe, you see those team when they hold the competition, they host the competition. Sorry, they win it easy because they have all the nation behind them. But in Africa, is completely different. I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it's, for me, we have to find out why is this, that happened because the continent, you know, the continent or the country in Africa, they love the football, but why? Maybe the players have so many stress, mm -hmm. so many pressure, so many attends, and all the media are attacking too much, or the family. I don't know, because <laughs> normally for me, if you host the competition, you have to win it. It's simple. Yes, yes, yes. Everywhere you're going to play around the, you know, the country, it's your own stadium, it's your own fan. <laughs> but why? You know? Anyway, I hope it's gonna stay to Ivory Coast, to be honest, because I can, it's gonna be difficult for me to decide, to be honest. Um, talking of Afcon in particular, mm -hmm. do you feel that the tournament should move to a four year cycle instead of a two year cycle? Um, mm -hmm. Because I, 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 for one, feel that every two years you don't give a defending team a chance to actually prove that the African champions, because you may go to one tournament, you win, the next tournament, you don't even qualify. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, why you say you're right because every two years is demanding. Because when you see as well, when you refer to, when you refer yourself to the calendar of uh, this season, when you take care about the Champions League, the league, the World Cup, after the Fcom coming, I think my my opinion, you know, my humble opinion, I think some Afcon is, you know, is um is a time. Because all the time when I've been participating in FCOM as a proper player, I feel that was a like a Spanish say, like a fiesta. It was like a party, you know, you know, like it is the time where Africans are all together. Yeah. Because when I went, I've been able to participate in few competitions, for example, Africa FCOM in South Africa. Uh, I think I've been participating as well in Ghana, been participating as well in uh, some country, some country around the, the continent. It's all like you know, people, the fervor, the enthusiasm, the, 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 the love. And even I play against Ghana, we, Ghana is hosting, I go to Ghana and we go to the hotel, see some Ghanaian fans, oh yeah, yeah, why are you? They're happy to see me. And I wanted, to, if you maybe the guys from the, the CAF can just try to look and make it look more special. Because of course this year is gonna be, um, and few, next year is gonna be an average cost. Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen because uh, July, because West Africa, you know, the. The, the rain there is incredible, like a, like Cameroon as well. But I, I wanted to, I want them to make it look a bit special, you know, you know, something like you not know, two years, three years, or four years, because four years we know is World Cup, or World Cup two, maybe soon it's gonna change, everything changing. Yeah, but the, the the most worried part for me is the player, the players. I think the term of the, the term of the recovery, fitness. And the eligibility to continue to carry and play on a hard level for me is a, that's the big question. I think we have to look at for the players because I'm very worried for them. Mm. To be honest. Mm. Okay, I think we need to leave now.